The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line.
The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line.
The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line.
The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line.
The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Things. Certain slides I'm going to say take a picture so be ready for that. Other ones I'm going to say write it down instead. Now get a tab and a pen. My name is Ray, last name is Reynolds. Uh, I was told and I got a reward, so I'm the oldest guy on the planet in personal business credit. Well, I helped set up a lot of it in the past, so let's see what we can do today. The reason you take a picture here is this is what's called auto income. I'd like you to think about being an investor. Everybody wants to get rich. I think that's the wrong way. See, if I gave you a million dollars today, what would you do? Most people say, well, I buy a house and a car. No. You'd reference three times five, turn it to $15 million. You'd use borrow money to run a business because it offsets taxes. You can learn to play the game. Do you really want to run a business? You want to work for an employee or you want to own the business and let it run by third party? These are basically run by third party, most of them. So as we play this game, 
I like goodies. You like goodies? And I'm talking about Lamborghinis and Ferraris and $100 million buildings. See, I obtained a lot in my life so far. But then I also went through some good and bad times too. So this is live. You got a question, just type it out. From there, I'm going to say, don't take pictures, don't record, unless it's a page that I tell you you can. Because I want you to write things down, put it here. Tablet and pen time. In other words, let's draw that diagram in front of you. I want you to think about no matter where you live, your city, your state, I want you to think about Bank of America. Why? They bankrupt 6,000 locations, 6,001. How'd they do that? Parent company owns a branch, which is another corporation called Branch Numbers. They sign a 100 year lease. How do they do that? So, what do they do? They bankrupt the subsidiary, they take the assets and the money right up from their taxes. See, we the people didn't pay attention. Ever since I was a little boy, I've been studying rich and famous people. The ultimate goal, how about Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank? How about you look at Sam's Cut, Geico? How about cities? 11 cities fall bankruptcy so far? How's that even possible? Your whole goal today is to pay attention and write down number one thing for your whole life is to stop bringing the pain home. You brought the pain home. Most of you, you jacked up your credit, you got stuck, you couldn't get any more, and you couldn't write out daily squat. Next thing is you hawked your house. See, this is called silly and dumb. I helped set up the system a long time ago and how to play the game. We're going to talk about rules and tools today. I'm going to show you how you can get a 750 credit score the rest of your life and never bring the pain home. Could that be okay? Next thing is I want you to think about becoming a certified CFO. Rules and tools and reprogram your brain to millionaire status. Now for me, I got born in a taxi as a little boy. My mommy didn't want me. I got to be with Mrs. Hope to sheet out from hell. I learned one thing. I can put up with crap, feel sorry for myself, or get out of hell. Now, what did I do? Mrs. Hope dropped me off at Redonda Beach Pier every morning at 6.30 from the age of three to nine and a half years old. She drove down that window. She said, if you're not here at five o'clock, I'm leaving there to die. She was a she-devil from hell. I ran over to the pier. There's a light. There's a fan. Keep warm. I ate out of a trash can as a kid. Kind of sucks. I got caught stealing off the pier. The third day, the man grabs my hand and goes, ah! He gave me a choice. This has changed my life. I owe him a lot. Number one, he says, I can call the police, you can go to jail, or you can take out my trash. From the age of three to nine and a half years old, I was known as boy. Boy, clean out the chum bucket. Boy, clean out the trash. You know, even all the owners of the restaurants, do like Tony's. I'd go to their mansion in Beverly Hills and the one in Palos Verdes. I'd be shoveling cow and horse doo-doo on the weekend, hustling and making money. One thing that dawned on me when I'm being on the pier, I looked at Marino Del Rey, Torrance Rocks, Palos Verdes, and Rat Beach. All I saw was money. These people got money. So I was curious. See, what happens with most people, you complain about rich and famous people not paying enough tax. I think you should shut up and join them. That's just me. So I looked behind that curtain. How they get the money? What have to do? I wanted to master the rules and tools. That's what I did for me. I studied rich and famous people to the point I got to my first million, 2.6 billion in corporate structure at 26. So they nicknamed me the Godfather of Credit KNX Radio years ago, but on that stage in 49 years. So you understand, how do they do it? Why don't you learn how people do things so you can learn to win the game if you really want to play? Now, me, I like rags to riches. All I can tell you is I got my first Lamborghini at 14 and a half. All right, 2.6 billion, 26, and I like Ferraris, Lamborghinis, helicopters, and goodies. You want some goodies? That's just a couple things I obtained. So my journey, not so easy. She didn't want me. She threw me away, born in the taxi. All right, kind of sucks. Your journey today can begin with me. I'll hold your hand from beginning to middle to the end, and I'll guarantee it to Maynard if you keep doing what I ask you to do. First, we have to look at your personal credit. Why? You don't understand it. I'm sorry to say you don't. You took three years to try to get some credit and guarantee this and that and some, what, secure card or, or someone co-sign? Here's the, the truth. When I was helping and training Ken Yarborough years ago, TRW became a Spirian. So I wrote rules and tools. I'd like you to think about your credit cards personally. I'd like you to put a stick in the back of the card. So if we take the cards and we put a stick in the back of the card and we put the rules, you put the limit of the card, 25% you maintain always, always, never past 29%. See, the moment you go past 29% to 30%, there it goes. You dropped your score, 
you got stuck here, you can't get any more. You haunt your house and you haunt and hurt your family. I call this silly and dumb, to be honest with you. See, if you use all these cards and you look at the rules and tools of the 25, 20 cent rule, then you're going to give me an excuse. Well, I got an emergency, right? And that says, not stop. Stop the crap. That's right there. You stop it right away. It's very simple. These two cards don't fluctuate ever, ever. You can max them out to a million friggin' dollars. They have a paid over time limit as well. So if you take the combination of rules and tools that I developed years ago, every one of you should maintain a 750 score. You have an old shit day, these are the cards you use. As long as you maintain a payment, guess what? Your credit score never goes down. Your lack of knowledge is what's killing you and your family. And it's not acceptable when it comes to me. All right? I had to fight to get out of hell. All right? Some of you, probably half of you, are freaking lazy. Sorry, the other half want to go get it. 80% of people in this world are freaking lazy. It's ridiculous. So I want you to write down the rules and tools. 29% rule, gold and platinum card. Got it so far? Now, all I can tell you is I'm direct. All right. From there, it's very simple. All right. Your way didn't work to million to billion. Mine does. 100%. If I can get you to do what I tell you to do, that'll be up to you. I got no excuses. Hell, I got classes six days a week live. You can talk to me every time. So guess what? There's me in 1981. Highest kick, fastest kick on planet Earth. Every time you hear some idiot say, white man can't jump. So what the hell are you talking about? I hold the damn record. Okay? I got no excuses. You can go to some free classes if you want, Friday and Saturday. What am I going to do? Show you the goodies. What you want, I can get you repackaged to get it too. I have everything I want. Why don't you? This is the land of opportunity. This is the United States of America. God promised the abundance. Why don't you go get it? The bottom line is going to be up to you. So make sure you always go check out RaiseCredit.com. Now, let's understand. I got a radio and TV show coming up as well. From there, I created a program that works 100%. I made a promise to myself as a kid. I would never get married and have kids unless I had a foolproof program. I couldn't find one. So I developed my own. So when that happened, I got a wife, six kids, and 10 grandkids, and one on the way. I have a program you can't even screw up as long as you follow through. Now, winning the game of business. I wrote that series of books talking about my life basically 46 years ago. Page six, paragraph three, financial freedom, cash flow for you for time. It's in my book 46 years ago, even though some ding dong trying to steal it too. So here I am dead in a coma. I had a bad day. You ever had an old shit day? All right, I got three yachts in the backyard. We're billions of dollars having fun helping people. I'm at the Bonaventure 32 years every Wednesday night having fun helping people like you. Wife wants to take out one of the yachts. I got three of them in the backyard with a group of people. This came into the country. One of them had a virus. Ah, I died at 541 July 5th. Kind of sucks. While I was in the coma, my wife called everybody at the office, said he's in a coma. They say he's going to die. All right, what did Ron do? He took my district manager. He drove a U-Haul truck to the office to steal books and CDs. Tom, my IT guy, what did he do? He sold my websites and phone numbers to a porn site. So my point for you is very simple. Protect your ass, Eds. You've all had friends and family rip you off and screw you over too. That's no fun, but you allowed it. So today, I want to talk about the Millionaire's Founders kit I sold for $5,000 a set at the Bonaventure for 32 years. The office, you can call my call center, $499. You do it through me, it's 199 bucks. I don't get a paycheck. I don't basically get a commission. I don't make anything for 31 years. Why would I want that? So guess what? All right, there's me. I want you to Google the address. Large as you talk in Huntington Harbor with my yachts and race boats and my goodies in it. What do we do? When you start a business, you better hold your breath. Why? Because your friends and family, some have ripped you off. Are they going to push you off the cliff? Or are they going to catch you? You're going to die. You got to make a decision. I tell you to hold your breath. Now, we're going to focus on your future, okay? Let's focus on Chapter 18. Do you see this right here? I'm going to circle it for you. It says a corporation is a legal person. By the way, Supreme Court says that, okay? Now, if you have a corporation, oh, goody for you. All right, you didn't learn dilly squat. Sorry to say it's probably true. Now let's understand. I sent away a $10 money order when I was basically all right, nine and a half years old. I heard a corporation's a legal person at the rich and famous Hope family house in the corner, wrote down my note. 
Now, the next day, I went to the Torrance Library next to the Torrance Police Department. I was seven. Ma'am, what does this mean? She was rude. You ran away. What did I do next? I waited patiently. Five minutes later, here's a mock of his butt. She was a be I read the book. <laughs> what happened next? <clears throat> you read the books too, huh? I couldn't find a blueprint. I wanted to get out of hell. I had to get a mommy and a daddy and family like everybody else did. So what am I going to do? I was nine and a half years old, and I sent away my $10 to the Secretary of State of California in the mail. <clears throat> and what did I do next? I got back a corporation. It freaked me out. It freaked me out because I got a corporation back for 10 bucks. You know, I realized when I was nine and a half, all corporations are free. You, some of you pay thousands. Why? You pay thousands of dollars for a piece of paper that's free. You have to pay a filing fee. And you didn't learn daily squat. And your CPAs and attorneys and people around you probably didn't give you what you wanted anyway. Now, the thing that freaked us out is I got $100,000 of credit cards in the mail. What the blank? Late 80s and 90s, everybody got credit cards in the mail without applying for credit. And that was fun. Now, I need you to listen right here. If you have a corporation right now on the Secretary of State's website, your name is there, the incorporator, the officer's list, and you open the bank account. And everybody's going to say, you're protected. Bullshit. Well, I got a book called Bullshit and Pay Your Bills, too. Let's look at this. May sue or be sued. The only voice for the corporation is you. Congratulations. So that means if they sue the corp, they can sue you and lose everything you got, too. So Helping Hand was my first corporation I ever set up. I was nine and a half. I even got named in the movie Dave. You can check it out. From there, I got screwed up. And when I was 12 and a half, all right, I got named in a lawsuit. I started the Orange County Blind Center. I used the word Braille. I got named in a lawsuit. So this proved to me if a corporation gets sued, we're screwed. This is the way it is. Damn, it sucks. We can still lose everything we got. So the bottom line is to never bring the pain home. Banks and grocery stores and cities have corpse owning corporations. Now, when you hear the word no, you got a problem. You listen to it. They tell me no. I say thank you. Walk away. Find a way anyway. See, there's always a way to create something that does not exist. Let's write down today's date. And let me give you 90 days of my time and repackage you to get millions and billions. Is that okay? All right. It's kind of fun. Now, I'd like you to do one thing for me. If I get you to be corporate millionaire and I hold your hand from beginning, middle to end, I want you to ten, t tell 10 people about me. That's nice. But I want you to protect your assets. See, problem right now, if they sue you, they're going to screw you up. So I want you to write down irrevocable trust. I want you to write down UCC1. See, here's our problem. We're going to live. We're going to have to struggle through that and do the best we can. Get you to millionaire. We're also going to die. I want you to plan to do both. UCC1, 19 ways to use this form. If today, today, you went to your house or office and you listed all your goodies, you could put on a UCC1, file at the county recorder's office, and they can turn it into a chattel mortgage. You can borrow against your own goodies at the same time. Now, when we're dead, where's our stuff go? Well, if it's tied to the irrevocable trust, so I know where my stuff goes when I'm dead. Do you know where yours goes? They're probably going to have a swap meet. They're going to walk through your goodies and sell for a dollar a piece. That's what a state sale does. So I'd like you to think differently. I'd like you to think about today. How did the Kennedys, the Hiltons, the Firestones, the Gettys, and Fords do this? That's what I study. Every rich and famous person I get my hands on. I'd like you to build a legacy. If I'm going to build you up like I did my 31 million millionaire clients now, my 29 billionaire clients, I don't want you to screw this up. Is that okay? All right, if you do it my way for a while. So what did we look at again? A corporation's illegal what? Person. All right, I learned early, being used and abused, I paid attention, but it may sue or be sued. Damn, I don't want to lose what I got. So what am I supposed to do? So we got to focus. So let's understand today. When I was a little boy, I kept listening to the grown-ups say, don't put all your eggs in a basket. I asked what that meant. All I got back is, me, 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 me. I thought the grown-ups when I was a kid were stupid. When I grew up, I realized they were pretty stupid, most of them. So understand, when they sue the corp, they're going to sue you. Congratulations. See, what I had is I had a problem. I'm going to the auctions and having fun. 
I brought in my first million at 14 and a half. Have a fun. Flip a dippity doos and properties. And by the way, all right, I didn't go to high school. I was at Orange Coast College at 14 and a half. That would have been a waste of my time. You know, I had 19 houses at basically 17 and a half years old. Having fun. They told me I couldn't get number 20. They told me no. I don't like the word no. I said, thank you. I transferred my houses to my divisions. And what did I do? See, I want you to think of the word division of a corporation. In 1984, I went to basically Sacramento. I wanted to create an entity so I don't pay a franchise tax fee. California wants 800 bucks per corporation. I don't want to pay that. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I got my hotel building. I got the land. I got basically the properties. I got my subway. I got all these pieces and all these things I'm doing, storage units. Hell, I had 22,000 pay phones. I'm doing all kinds of goodies. My thing was I needed $1,000 a month, auto income. So I got the choice to create a form or modify one. So I modified a form. Under the corporate umbrella, a division doesn't have your name on it. So guess what I get to do? Now, on my properties, I found out the buyer's a liar, the agent and the broker, too. I hired the contractor. The subcontractor stands right outside Home Depot, and they're all trying to steal my money. That pissed me off. Ah. So at 21 years old, I decided to be the bank. I want to be the bank. Hell, I wrote a book on that, too. So let's understand. I sold my first car, and that was fun. They gave me a deposit. All right, and they were going to go to the credit union to get the balance. I said, no, no, no. I have a division of the company I work with that will actually carry the paper for you. So I understand. I got a loan here at Ford Motor, all right, for this car, and I'm basically selling it with a deposit so that I basically collect the money, all right, the assignment of asset, and I collect the money pay this. In between that, lining it up, I got $412 a month. Is that okay? Almost $12 $12.13. So 413 bucks is the total when it came to the cents. Damn, that worked. But I got it for seven years. When I sold that first house, I did the same thing. All right, I wanted to play. I got $1,200 a month. So I'm trying to get to that $1,000 a month I have to work for. I just want the money coming in. That's what the banks do. Hell, they borrow from the feds times 10 and loan back five to you. So we gotta, what do we get to do? We get to have fun. So let's understand today. If you and I... And I guided you step-by-step step coaching you for an apartment complex. I'd tell you how to dissect it in pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to understand what's called the assignment of mortgage. I'm going to show you how to become the bank. From there, we're going to take my real estate system that does billions and my financial system, buckets of money, tax balance, and be the bank in that fund. And we're going to learn assignment of asset. Would that be okay we learn auto income? That's how I designed it for me. So what do we get to do? Free money. It freaked me out when we got all these credit cards that came in the damn mail. Corporate cards, corporate cards. Look at that shit. Damn. What am I going to do? Well, I got $53 million of credit cards by the time I was done. Damn, book after book after book to organize them. Well, that was freaky. But they started to shrink some limits. I don't like to want to take it away. So corporate credit to me is free money. You maintain a payment. That makes sense? See, when you take the money from your family to start a business, you're being stupid. Because all you did is hurt your family. That's called being stupid. Men and women are supposed to basically be grown-ups. I don't understand stupid. Sorry. The word stupid doesn't make sense to me. So what do we get to do? We can take the corporate credit, finance a business, right off the interest rate of the credit card, and build an empire. Because that's what I did. But you, you keep doing it your way. Did your way work? So when I talk about storage units, I wrote a book on that, controlling 44% of those in California. Dry cleaner wrote a book on that, laundromats, franchise, parking structures, EV charging, my car washes were fun, and divisions doing real estate. Isn't that fun? None of these things you have to run a business. Oh, you want to have that job, and then you want to start your company. And then you want to put all that pressure on you, and when it fails, you hurt your family. Isn't that what you did? 87% of people do that every day. So if you want to play, like in real estate, you have 14 states that literally have properties under $100,000 brand new. They want $5,000 down. Which card do we use? Which card do we want to use? Let's buy three of those suckers. Why don't we have the real estate office locally maintain it and manage it for us or turn it to a Section 8? Isn't that fun? How about the banks like Bank of America has a repo list for you? 
They want people to take over the loan. How about we look at U.S. Department of Housing and Development? They will actually want you to help them re to get their loan and take the property off their hand. So you could play as division process. All right, auto income. From here, we can look at HUD, short sale, foreclosure, auction properties. All right, residual income, auto income. From here, how about dry cleaning? There's several companies that I've helped over the years have fun and have my dry cleaning. They don't do the work. They actually have a storefront with three employees and their truck picks it up, delivers it, and that's it. And then we also go to the homes to deliver it too. The first one I helped, Crown Cleaners in Huntington Beach, hell, they didn't have a location in the beginning for the first four years, but they were doing 100,000 a month just delivering and picking up dry cleaning. Is that okay? How about 63,000 a month? How about we get a dry cleaner? How about we get a laundromat? Okay, how about a Wendy's? How about a Jack in a Box? How about a couple of gas stations? How about we look at these empty ones and we turn it into a business and we're going to call it Fizuli's Colombian Coffee? We're going to have some fun with those. So what do we get to do? So here's what happens. Every one of you listening, trying to learn today, all right, you're listening to me for a reason. You're trying to gain knowledge, rules, and tools. And your problem is you know everything. So you're kind of stubborn sometimes to listen and learn too. What I want to do is blueprint every one of you. I want you and I on the phone with you, your spouse or your loved one of life. I want to blueprint your life. I want to talk about past, present, future, good, bad, and ugly. I want to repackage you from there, family. All right, we're going to talk about a corporation. Don't care what type you got anyway. And you got an LLC, you got a C Corp, good trade, S Corp. We're going to teach you to play. Corporations do not pay tax until they're profitable. They create lines of credit, offset the taxes. You can learn to play. How about we get 26 divisions to create a million bucks? From there, how about irrevocable trust? How about a car? You driving your car down the road today, I don't understand. You're the registered owner. Every time there's a bumpity bump, they sue the registered owner. It's you. Why the hell would you do that? Now, some ding dong on TikTok, Google, and YouTube. Well, you can ride out the car. That's not the point, dummy. The point is who the hell's a registered owner? If it's you, you're the duck and the sheep. Should be a division. Your house is not in a trust, and they sue you, they screw you up. You die a second in probate. Your family got diddly squat. You should have bought the house through the damn trust in the first place. Are these turned up yet? So, what do we look at? Auto income. What is the goal that I did in the beginning? Cash flow free at my time. Auto income. So I want you to think, did you have some money in your hand once? Did you spend it and piss it away? It went bye-bye. Why didn't you leverage in reference three times five? Do you realize you can get a bank to give you $1.5 million of lines of credit? So let's take your corporation. Let's make it a basically a management company. Don't use the word financial. Or the bank will get you open a bank account. From here, what do we do? A division for a franchise. A division for apartment complex. We build a line of defense like the banks and grocery stores and cities do. And then we create financial freedom. Your goal right now should be auto income up to $100,000 a month. And that can be accomplished in the next six months. Easy to do if you follow and do what I tell you to do. From here, if you needed $25,000 of credit, okay. I'm going to use my dashboards. I'm going to use my history. And I'm going to pop you cards. Some cards for like an American Express could be $60,000 paid over time. Okay, other cards can be $50,000, $100,000. But let's build you credit for you and the corporation and divisions too. What do we look at? Here's $25,000. Now, national average is 10%. If you did it during this webinar with me tonight, what's going to happen is I'm going to give you that for $1,999. You get a discount because I don't make a commission. From here is $50,000. Normally, $5,000. Instead, it's $39.99. Here's $100,000. Literally, it's usually ten thousand, and it's sixty nine ninety nine. I'm always trying to give you ten times your money back. At twenty six, I got bored. I wanted to help people for free. They didn't want to play with me. They had no skin in the game. Once I basically said, "Here's a fee," but I mean to give you back your credit up to times ten. So when someone spends five hundred bucks, I usually give them five hundred dollar card, maybe a thousand dollar card. I want them to get their money back and take away the excuses. Click here right now. How you send money. All right, to us is Ray Reynolds recipient, rayerasecredit.com, bank transfer, wire deposit. Ultimate goal. If you ever want to use a credit card, you just email me personally, but then we have to charge you 5% to do that because that's what the bank charges us. Now, here's my problem. 
you having 53 million dollars of credit cards up to that it was fun they started to shrink my limits that scared me and it's like no don't take it away i, I built it it's mine 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 so for every fifty thousand i loaned out i turned it into twenty four hundred dollars a month for every hundred thousand because these are hundred thousand our cards for wells fargo with the checkbook i turned it to basically forty one thirty three so that's how I created in my book 46 years ago, cash flow for you over time. So understand, you can design your own income. A division allows you to multiply what the corporation does under the corporate umbrella. Your name's not on it. So you're protected. So if you take the matrix I put in my book called Buckets of Money, and all you wanted to do is make money coming in with no other business, why don't we loan money out privately? Okay, let's see. I took basically the corporation. I invented division process, took nine across the board, then I created subdivisions. By the time I was done in 18 months later, I had 41 divisions to create auto income, and my auto income was 190000 a month. Is that okay to play with? See, you might just want to get my book called Buckets of Money, and you can play that way too. But then let's have some more fun and do all kinds of businesses. You're going to do, if you play with me, you're going to have eight different types of companies you play with. Eight. It's a perfect number. So what do we get to do? How about this matrix in Buckets of Money book? This one was $661,000 a month. But this took 36 months to do it. Okay. How much would you like to create as cash flow for you your time? Again, let's we'll take some of that money to get more auto income and eight other types of businesses. See, Buckets of Money. You can't stop yourself. You know, don't stop you. The problem is you are the problem. The only thing that gets in your way is you. So I like to make you a money-making machine if you allow me to. But then you're stuck with me from beginning, middle to the end. My clients have came back from generation to generation for the last 40 plus years. I help the kids, kids, kids. Isn't that fun? So guess what? We're going to write down five reasons why you want corporate credit, cash credit. Why? Hell, it's a write-off. Personal credit's not. It's free money. Maintain the payment. Oh, we don't steal from our family. Hurt the family. Well, that makes sense. From there, we use the divisions to multiply line of defense. And then you get to build a legacy. Isn't that your goal to build a legacy so you basically, somebody knew you were here, not just basically a memory? So we go back to that drawing right there. Here's the corporation. Here's the divisions or subsidiaries, and you do it my way. Your banks and grocery stores bankrupt right in front of you, and you didn't bother to figure out how they did it. In reality, even cities too, as well as Sam's Cup and Guy Cup. So let's play. What's our first goal? Stop bringing the pain home. Become a certified CFO. All right, and reprogram your brain to millionaire status. I was nine and a half years old at the Torrance Library when I created my first blueprint. I call my blueprint, see it, believe it, go get it. All right, let's use the same one for you. Is that okay? From here, you got to stop treading water and playing it safe. There are five must-haves, so let's write them down because you can't take a picture or record. It's not a page I said you could do that. From here, we're going to look at 750 score, not a care credit for its premier. We're going to look at a corporation and 26 divisions, $1 million of cash credit, checkbook money, and supply and vendor money. Okay, these are a must have if you're going to get to millionaire, period, ultimate goal. The goal is to repackage you and my companies years ago only in America and repackage in America because I want to repackage you. I want to basically rebuild you like Humpty Dumpty. So let's understand. There's a thousand steps you're going to have to work through to get to basically the million dollars. Now, having properties in all five islands and hundreds of beaches is fun in big buildings and Lamborghinis and helicopters, too. Why didn't you do it? I understand. I sold the Millionaire's Founders Kit at the Bonaventure for 32 years every Wednesday night. And I got cited twice for having too much of an audience. How's that? All right. So what is a corporation? A legal person. What can it do? Sue or be sued, which means it can sue you, which kind of sucks. So let's look at a division. Let's look at my apartment complexes, my commercial real estate, my shakies, my 31 flavor, my Wendy's, and all of a sudden my subway and all the other pieces. Division process, eight different types of businesses. Now, if I've got a problem with one of the locations or a tenant, I'm allowed to disconnect, isolate, incorporate. But that sucker over here, I'm going to try to save it. If I can't save it under the Fair What Protection Act, I probably will bankrupt it within six months. 
banks and grocery stores and cities do this right in front of you, and they don't wait six months. Hell, I'm going to try to save it. Now, you're going to have a lousy tenant. Some people just suck. Reality is you're going to build cash and supply credit. Again, what are we looking to do? Now, I want you to write this down. I'm willing to sacrifice a division, not the corp and my family. I want you to create a line of defense. You never did that. You brought the pain home. That's not acceptable. It has never been acceptable. This is we the people. It's our constitutional right. It's our bill of rights. Look up bankruptcy today. The only two things that can fall bankruptcy, and there's six different types of bankruptcies, all right, are you going to be the next duck as family in SSN or SS4? Who will be the duck the next time when you have an old shit day? Okay, plan the problem. Now, if you allow me to get the tax ID for you, this allows my system that I created years ago to create a TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian cash reports under tax ID. Instantly, I can start building credit and history to you. We can play. Then I can line you up to get to what I call checkbook money. Checkbook money up to 150 to 250, $100,000 to use that to buy the business. You become an investor. So let's go back to a little basics here. I want you to write down division of me. Can you do that for me? Please do a division of me. Now we're going to take that form right there. The only form that the IRS ever created for banking and credit purposes was the SS4. Not your SS5, which is SSM. Line one, we're going to put your name there, corporation name, maybe a division, do your subsidiary. So we can do all kinds of fun stuff to it. I can build you a corporation umbrella up to $1 million of cash credit all right, in the beginning to see where you want to go. Now, let's take an example. All right, here's a Lamborghini with a million bucks. Here's the key. Boom, boom. When I obtained this one part of the collection, the payment was 6800 a month. Now, if I buy the Lamborghini to me, and I guarantee it, and I can't pay it, they're going to take it away. I'm going to have an old shit day of shitty credit. And then they're going to report it to the IRS as a 1099C, so now I got double shitty credit. Well, that'd be kind of stupid. I bought the Lamborghini as a division of a corporation. I guaranteed it under the division of me. I guaranteed it. So guess what happens? I get to keep all my companies, all the things I'm going to do. And if I got a problem with that car or whatever piece it might be, what am I going to do? Disconnect, isolate, incorporate, put it over here. See, if you don't plan the problem, that's how you get your assets kicked all the time. And that's no fun, bringing the pain home. When you sign a lease of a building, it's a division. When you do properties, they're divisions. They're separate liabilities like the banks and grocery stores and the cities do. Why would you be dumb enough to bring the pain home? No, the SS4 was created to receive money. No taxes due till we're profitable. And then you file your 1120s or your 1065s. Now, under the Fair Lending Act, let's listen very carefully. One credit card, Fair Lending Act, is entitled to 99 more. How many would you like? So if you learn to get the money, you can go get the honey. And the honey could be the building or the car or whatever you want it to be. So the bottom line is you can learn to play my way for a while. Now, here's my problem. You saw the coma. I got to die in a coma. Kind of sucks. I get to hear my tax attorney trick my wife that's on a POA. Steals my 3.7 billion of goodies. Well, that sucks. So what did I do when I came out of the coma and were homeless, my wife and kids? Sell the wedding ring, Rolex necklace bracelet. Okay. I got 16400 now, I'm a person that basically doesn't want to go back to hell, even of a trash can. So what is it what scares the hell out of me? So I have three divisions of me and five closet divisions. Number eight, that's a lucky number. Plus, I was born on the eighth anyway. Zero and eight are the perfect numbers of math. You don't know this yet. You will. So what do we do? Now, here's your problem. You did not allow yourself to have more than one chance to try. And every time you did, you brought the pain home. I don't accept that. So I took three divisions of me, and I built a million dollars of credit in six friggin' weeks. Why didn't you? From there, I bought my wife her next dream house. Why didn't you? See, you don't have a backup for a backup, and you're not using your constitutional rights. So I'd like you to think about a division of you on a corporation. I'd like you to understand that division of you, if you had a problem, you have more than one. What do you get to do? Disconnect, isolate, and corporate, throw that sucker away. And do another one, and another one. As long as you have no intent to do fraud. And what do we get to do? Quit bringing the damn pain home. That makes no sense. A division of me, I've obtained credit. 
house of a teen franchise. Isn't that the American dream? What do we do? Stop bringing the pain home. Never bring the pain home. So as we play, look at your corp if you have one today. Check it on Secretary of State's website. It's right there. It's everyone can see it. They can see you. Hello. And you're on the analysis list. You're the incorporator. You're on the bank account. In the deposition, it only takes four questions to pierce your veil. You're a duck and a sheep. But if you use your home address, that's really pretty stupid. You see, 87% of people use their own home address on their incorporation officers list. Did you know you add yourself to the national mailing list and the robocall list? I don't understand. You could have used a mailbox, et cetera, or a shared office space. So if you use your home address, please change it. Jump up and kick yourself in the assets and say they did it wrong. That corporation today, because you need to put your ducks in a row, when they sue it, they probably sue you. That kind of sucks. How will we create the line of defense so then they can kiss our assets if something goes wrong? Is that okay? The only form the United States government ever created an IRS for banking and credit purposes in your face you didn't pay attention to. It's like the whole damn world's like, what the hell are they doing out there? Banks, grocery stores, and cities. It says legal name of entity, individual person. It's right on the damn form. The only form that says banking and credit purposes per entity. You got it so far? You brought the pain home and you should have an entity of you. Screw that and go get another one with no intent to do fraud. You gave yourself no backup and you brought the pain home to being what? Silly and what? Kind of silly and dumb. Corporations should do four things only under raised rules. That's my rules. We're going to buffer tax. No taxes due to we're profitable. Okay, that's allowed. How about we get corporate cash credit? How much would you like? Why not? It's a damn write-off. It's free money. Why would you screw yourself up first when you could build the cash credit to the corporate lens finance itself and write it all off and get a corporate car at fleet price and stay at the hotel and get a free buffet? Now, that's all the corporate gets to do. Division is a line of defense. Hell, I created it in 85, 86. They're cheap. Multiple functions buy at wholesale price, multiple credit reports, and we got real estate. We can separate liability. Did you write these things down? Because you can't take a picture or record. Because I told you you can't. So guess what we get to do? Simple. We get to create a line of defense in case we have an old shit day. We build a corporate umbrella. We fight for our lies. All right? The division should have been the duck and the sheep, not you and your family. Why did you do it your way? I think your way sucks. Sorry. That's just the truth. My system, tax ID, credit reports, experience, trans and Equifax, add 2000 history. I build the corporate umbrella for you. And I get to play with you. Isn't that fun? So guess what? They're four ninety nine dollars each, three for $9.99. You get to get like two for the price of one. Or three for the price of two. Okay. So what do we do? I like goodies. You like goodies yet? There's only a couple of goodies I obtained. From there, how about the yachts and the race boats? I say Ray Reynolds or, or University.com. I like goodies. I love goodies. I got to ride with Neil Diamond a couple of times too. Fun, fun, fun. Now, you don't get this kind of goodies till you hit about 10 million plus. So I want to help you get up to a million dollars of credit cards. Would that be okay if we do that for you? Up to a million dollars, if not more. And then from there, why don't we get some checkbook money? Up to $5 million. So you got a thousand steps you have to master rules and tools. I got classes. I'm online six days a week, Friday and Saturday. All my classes for you if you want to show up and pay attention to. There I go rhyming all the time. I got this problem. I talk and I end up rhyming all the time. I ride with both hands and talk at the same time. And in the sixth grade, they said I was retarded. Then they tested me at T. Wico Junior High, 14 and a half years old. IQ 203 with total recall. When I was a kid, I had to pretend to be stupid because his teachers were stupid. They didn't like me. So if I make you a money make a machine, is that okay? We get auto income. Let's take you. Let's rebuild you here, okay? Then I'm going to go after the Capital One Green Spark. $100,000. Okay. Let's get the two baby sisters for 30. That's 160. If we take that 160 times nine divisions, is that a million dollars? How about we get the B of A times nine? How about the Wells Fargo times nine? How about we turn around and get the ink times nine? How about the gold times nine? So if we create the money in each division in its own profit center in its P&L, hell, we can create a million dollars of credit and go get the goodies without stealing from the family. Now, that's up to five million just on the first five cards. I only like 10 anyway. We're going to talk about checkbook money now. Your banks will give you unsecured line of credit up to one hundred fifty dollars to $250,000. 
and they have one, they want a two-year corporate division. You got to do it my way a little bit, and I'll line you up for that too. Now, here's my five favorite ones. How do you get checkbook money? That's what we use to buy that entity, buy that restaurant, that franchise, that storage unit. Now, this is up to $5.4 million of credit. So we can go finance the American dream. And if anything goes wrong, we have an old shit day. We get rid of the division, not the corp and the family. Why do people jeopardize their family? I don't understand, stupid. It makes no sense to me. I didn't get a damn family as a kid. I got to be in hell. So here's Carl. Carl did $728 million last year. Well, the B of A has got $1.2 billion. He don't pay tax. So why would he pay tax? See, the debt offsets the taxes. From there, you got Walt Disney and Newsweek to not pay tax on a billion. They just wrote an IOU to themselves. So you can learn to play. Now, listen carefully. This is what I want you to do starting today. I want to build your cash credit for the corporation. Borrow money is not taxable. Borrow money is not what? I'd like to take $1,000, leverage it, 5000 and I want to reference it times three, and I want to create $1.25 million. Is that okay? How about we take that credit that I helped build you or build for you, and it's called borrow money, it's not taxable, when we go buy that lifetime income, real estate franchise. Any idiot that says you shouldn't buy real estate's an idiot. All right, I love the thing on the news today. We got to get affordable housing. What the are you talking about? Real estate goes up no matter what you want to do. Affordable houses is my ass. You can't afford to live there? Move. For you will live where you can afford. This is crap. I've never seen some stupid things. And then one guy on TikTok, you don't need to buy a house. How stupid could you be? I bought a house when I was 17 for, for $32,000 on Mesa Woods. It's worth a million nine now. Friggin' be the damn bank. I don't understand stupid. So if you listen carefully, I'll hold your hand till I get you through the process, and I'll do most of the work for you too, because I don't really want you to think. The more you think, the more you screw it up. Now, let's say you won the lottery today. Wow, now what? Your CPA and attorney is going to say, you got to put in your account. You're going to pay tax on the interest you earn. And I'm going to say, hell no. I'm going to tell you to deposit that money in a division of you. They're going to, what's that? You don't have a corporate tax. Credit. You don't need that. A division of you allows you to put the money in the corporate bank account, 100%. Then you sit down with the banker, and what do we do? We're going to borrow against the money. We're going to create a debt. Borrow money is not taxable. We're going to turn that into a million to a billion. Hell, why not? You get a property, oh, goody. And they sue you, they screw you up. What? How about every property is a division? I don't know which one's going to fall and sue and screw me up. How about your house payment all setting your taxes? Amazon didn't pay any tax in the first 10 billion, and now they don't pay tax in other words, trillions. Why the hell would they pay tax? You pay tax because you don't play the game. See, there's no loophole. They're doing what they're allowed to do. We watched him buy Twitter with three banks, $44 billion. He had to borrow it because he didn't have it in the bank account. So what do we get to do? It only took him three weeks to screw it up. Twilly D, totally dumb. Now X marks the spot. That's kind of stupid, but he's got a spaceship. So is the other guy. So is the other guy. All these spaceships going up in the moon. But again, what do you have to do? You could join the club and you win the battle if you got the you know, guts to do it. See, that's up to his mindset. Oh, guess what? 165 million. He only goes to 12 rooms. Hell, Mark bought all the properties around his house. The house and so they don't pay tax. Join the damn club. These companies don't pay tax. What the hell would they do that for? They don't have to. You could play the game to win too. No intention to do fraud. How you receive money matters. So let's put our hands like this for the final. Come on. SSM, you signed an SS5 form to get your SSM. If not, mommy did it in 71 because that's the year Nixon took the gold standard out. Now that's tax, 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 and probate when you're dead. The time of death at the hospital is for the state and federal government. You can't take your stuff with you. They want to make sure your friends and family don't steal it too because you're already dead. The answer is for hell. We don't pay tax to we're profitable. Isn't that fun? So if we play the game correctly, I'll bet you we could win. Do you want to win the game? Okay. All right. You got your SSN. Oh, goody. You get one number. That sucks. You only get one chance to try. How are you going to win? 29% rule, 71,000 safety. And you don't use personal credit to start a business because that's called stupid. That never, it always hurts the family. So again, never bring the pain home. We take the SS4 over here. We compare the two. Corporation, don't name it after you name what it does. And we're going to create a line of defense. 
This means a division for house, franchise, current business. All right, we're going to create a million dollars of credit. Is that okay? We do it my way a little bit. I think my way works better than yours. So let's understand. You're going to do a self-analyzation. You're going to look at your CLSE, whatever corp you have. I'm going to show you how to break even and I'll set your taxes and you're going to do it the right way because then you don't pay tax for three to five million. Is that okay? From there, it's like today. Let's say your credit's all jacked up. What am I going to do? Well, debt consolidation is a piece of crap. doesn't work. Screws up your credit three to seven years. Bankruptcy does the same thing. So why don't we create OPM money? other people's money. Now, there was a nasty article about me years ago when I was using OPM. Now, I created OPM, other people's money, and all these lines of credit to do the properties. They put me down for being smart. Typical. So, if we want to get some supply and vendor credit, we don't pay about the 90 days, what do we get to do? Take a picture. Click. We can get supply credit Listen carefully, supply credit, not guaranteed, and turn it into cash and come over here and negotiate the debt and bring it down. So what are we trying to do? See, most people steal from Peter to pay Paul to make Mary happy. we got to learn to balance the debt. Is that okay? You pay attention to me? Okay, we can sell on Amazon and eBay. Computers and widgets starting today. So there's me again. See, what you need to do is get to know me, build a relationship personally with me. Okay, because I'll build a personal relationship, which I did for my 31 million clients and my 29 billionaires all the time. So the guess what? That's just me breaking the world record, proving people wrong. I've done that all my life. Isn't that fun? All right. They said I was retarded. I just thought they were stupid. I like Lamborghinis and Ferraris, don't you? I like having everything I ever want. Why don't you play with RageCredit.com and go to some of my free classes too? Learn to play with me. Now, here's coaching. Coaching, I analyze your credit every seven days. From there, the blueprint call with me, with your spouse or your partner of life, we're going to tear apart and blueprint your whole life. I'm going to basically go past, present, future. I want to rebuild you, and this is what you're going to do. I'm going to tell you weekly what to do, all right, and make sure you follow through. Isn't that fun? Now, a blueprint call with me is $999. bucks. It's 1000 bucks. okay? Very simple for getting towards auto income. If you want to, you have to understand something. If you go to the grocery store, you need a list. Here's a list. What do we do? All right. First of all, we need to goal list. That's what the blueprint calls for. Let's get your goal list and let's write down all the goals that you're trying to accomplish. All right. Please challenge me because I get friggin' bored. Okay. Pretty easy. I'm going to give you a daily list of what I want you to do and a weekly list. And every project you have, all right, I'm going to help you accomplish them because that's half the fun to get auto income. Now, I like boring businesses. I love my 22,000 payphones years ago, my laundromats, dry cleaning, all the pieces. So every time I invest $40,000, I take it off of a damn card. Not my family, because that'd be stupid. From there, I create anywhere from three to 10,000 a month. See, I don't want you to get rich. I want you to get to the point you get 100,000 a month and build that up, 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 and away. I want the corporation to be filthy rich. 100,000, usually up to 45,000 a month. From there, uh, 250000 off of a card. Again, a line of credit, 75000 a month. So I want you to focus boring businesses. Here's an apartment complex. Let's look at this. They want $3 million. Okay. That's 10% down. All right. Unless I can get the seller to do you know, a carry back. I did seller finance on that one, bought it for free, by the way. Isn't that fun? So guess what? Let's say you do it your way, 10% down. And all of a sudden, you got the new loan and all the goodies, and now your income is thirteen thousand four fifty-two. Your problem with you? Oh, look what we did, honey! Oh, I'm making money. While you sit there, they're gonna kick your ass. That's one of those tenants. All they have to do is slip and fall and sue you and screw you up. That's all it takes. One lawsuit, boom, you're out of business again. My way, we're gonna split deed them all. We're gonna become the damn bank. Is that okay? We become the bank. In 2009, I'm the largest registered agent in the world, all right? And I sold 10 times more than Nevada Corps anybody in this planet to this day. Is that okay? We learned to play the right way. So here's 76, 800 a month. Oh, goody. That's auto income. Now, listen carefully. When you become the bank, you reverse the liability. They can't sue you, but you sue them if they don't pay. Would that be okay? You learn to play my way a little bit? See, when you go to that expo, it's like a deer in the headlights. Ah, what are we going to do? You get stuck. From here, what do I want you to do? 
up to 100,000 a month, auto income, and then build it up, up and away. But again, I want you to use the corporate credit to do that. Quit stealing from your family. Real estate franchise storage units. I have a six weeks to get your feet wet program to see if it's gonna work for you. Three months, six months, 12 months. The last two people got into the six weeks, by the time they wanted to go three, six or 12 months, I was sold out. Is that okay? Now they gotta wait. I told him to do it now, now, now. So a six weeks is simple. I'm gonna coach you privately. Okay, you and your spouse. From there, what's gonna happen, I'm gonna blueprint you. Then I'm gonna give you 25,000 in cash credit. All right, from there, I'm gonna expedite a rapid refresh. And I'm gonna give you a corporation, nine divisions, you don't have them yet. Then on top of that, I'm gonna give you all my workshops, level one, two, three, and specialty, every Friday and Saturday, all right, for six weeks. Now, this normally here is 11,596. It's almost 12 grand. If you add all the pieces tonight, you can get into that six weeks coaching for $5,000, $4,999. Okay, very simple to do. Now you're stuck with me. Now, it's a Zell, 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 bank transfer deposit or wire. But if you call the office tomorrow, don't be surprised. I want to charge you 12,000. So, what do we need to do? You want to use a card? Email me. But we have to use 5% because that's what the bank charges us. So let's understand three months, six months, 12 months. Huh. The goal should be $5 million. If we get into three months, we'd line you up. All right. The six months, you should have a first location of something. And the 12 months, you should have multiple locations of many things. There's the goal. So what is our goal? 10, 50 to 100,000 a month. I got to put you in all classes. All right, going to do basically weekly calls and analyze you every seven days and do a rapid refresh. You're stuck with me telling you what to do. Would that be okay? So if we look at these things, we're going to basically look at projects, limits, phone calls, daisy chain credit, and increase the limits all the time. And again, what are we going to do? If you want the three months, it's $8,000, $7,999, bucks. simple. I don't take any financing at all. So then if you can't afford that one, you go to the six-week program. If you can't afford that, you don't do anything besides you do the basic main and the making. I build you credit, so now you finance this too. So if I gave you the three months, I'm going to build you 150,000 credits of bonus, which would have cost you 15,000 anyway. If I get you the six months, it's 15,000. Normally, it would have cost you from there and giving you 300,000, it would have cost you 30,000. When I turn around and do the 12 months, that's 30,000 bucks. But I build you half a million, it would have cost you 50,000. Again, I want to give you up to 10 times your money back, if not more. It's as L's, L's, L, bank transfer, deposit, or wire. Pretty simple to do. You can always email me personally. There's my personal email, ray or raisecredit.com. So let's go back. I'm sorry, you didn't look behind the curtain. You didn't understand how the banks and grocery stores do this. They bankrupt locations called branch numbers. I want you to have a corporate division so your name's not on it. And I want you to build a line of defense. I want you to look around you. And find empty banks and grocery. What the heck? He's right. How about some cities? How about Geico? So if we do this correctly, we can stop bringing the pain home. We can program our brain to millionaire status, and we can become corporate millionaires and a millionaire. Watch, reprogram our brains to do it the right way. But we got to look behind that curtain, like I've done all my life. I didn't like being used and abused as a kid. I didn't like eating out of a trash can. I thought it sucked. I just wanted that, you know, fat man to come down my chimney. He never came to my chimney. I never had a Christmas or a birthday till I got a wife. She finally gave me one. Isn't that fun? So today, we do our best. Jesus does the rest. Amen to that too. Simple. If you want me to coach you from beginning to middle to end, I've done this for 46 years online and in person with people all the time. This come Friday and Saturday, we've got workshops all through the day from 7 in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I got no excuses, but now neither do you. I get to basically rebuild your life my way for a while. So let's do this. All right, it's very simple. Today, if you need to call 800-254-9506, you can do that too. But if I was you, I'd be zell, zell, now, now, now. We do our best. Ah, God does the rest. Amen to that too. At the end of the day, God loves us all.